Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSGO News, but not really a, a typical episode. I actually want to do a special reaction video. Now, I'm not a big fan of reaction videos on my channel, but this is a very special day, kind of a really terrible day for me. This is actually July 3rd, the one year anniversary of the, to the date that I actually killed my own CSGO channel. I'm actually going to be re reacting to the Mo TV, the second video ever made about Mo TV, and a, a scandal and something I, I still regret to this day, and something that many of you guys who still watch me know really killed my channel. When I first made CSGO News, it was back in May of 2016. I then made CSGO News videos throughout the summer, and then in July, uh, Mo had been repeatedly trying to trash talk me, so forth and so on, and we had a pretty a pretty big argument going back and forth because I called him out for the CSGO Diamonds thing, uh, a scam a long time ago that Mo did on the community, and I thought that this was an appropriate response when on his live stream he, he berated me verbally. Now, what I did was I went way too far, and it killed my channel. So, I wanted to react to this video that is no longer on YouTube today. I'm not, again, I'm not a big guy on reaction videos, but this video, just like, just looking at the video right now on screen makes me kind of cringe. I, I know this is going to be terrible to react to. So hope you guys all enjoy my reactions. And here is a video you guys will probably never see again on my channel because it's been taken down uh, ever since. So a um, little background for this video. It got almost 100,000 views, 4,000 likes, and over 10,000 dislikes. And it deserves way more than that for dislikes. It was a terrible video to make. And again, it, it killed my channel. So let's let's react to it. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to a CSGO video. This will not be a CSGO news episode. Come back tomorrow if you guys are ready for that and actually want that. But instead, today's video will be all about Mo TV and revealing some disturbing evidence we have revealed and actually found about Mo TV that no one else has ever found or revealed themselves in their own channel. So this is brand new news. First off, right at the bat, I still talk just as fast, but even back then I talked super fast. A little background as well, when I say we, we dug up this information, we, it was this guy named Wolfie, and I want you guys to know that it's not his fault, it was me who actually published the video, but the, the whole Mo TV, Mo actually posted a video about this himself that was like 24 minutes long. A lot of the information he put out there was totally false, completely false. He said that I made up things, I did not make up anything, this is information I found online. It was at the time and I recorded it, so there was a big controversy about whether what I said was true or not. What I found was what I found. News, very disturbing, and I want you guys to know I'm sick of Mo TV trash talking me and my channel. If you guys have not seen on his live streams in front of thousands of people, also on his YouTube videos, he continually trash talks me and my channel for how unoriginal I am. And you know the main thing that bothers me about all these all these comments he makes about me and my channel are that he starts them out with my looks, as if that's a real good argument. Because on stream several times he start, he started out his arguments by saying he's a scrawny little kid. It's some little scrawny kid's opinion on. Everything. It's you know he's an uglier version of Skadoodle. Just got caught guy, for cheating during your scandal with CS:GO Diamonds. Kind of funny how that all works out. This guy's a fucking virgin. Looks like Skadoodle but uglier. He says all these rude comments, which makes me think how old. Up to this point, this video was solid. You know, this guy was just making fun of me. This video was a great video. I should have cut it off at one minute. One minute in, I made some great points. Mo had just talked trash about me, my looks, calling me a virgin, an uglier version of Skadoodle. The video was great up until right now. How old are you, Mo? And for the first time, I actually have evidence that no one else has, and I can't wait to reveal it because when you make fun of all these people several times in your stream, you make fun of all these different kinds of people who come at you for good reasons. You know what? You've made an enemy, Mo. You've come after the wrong person, and you pissed off the wrong guy, and I cannot wait for this video. So, Mo, this is for you. I hope you enjoy. So the other day, me and my good friend Wolfie, you know, one of the guys I bring in for these bigger stories, he helps me research this stuff. Thank you so much, Wolfie, for all the help. We were going through Mo's followers and who he also followed on Twitter. And this is what we found when we clicked on Mo and who he follows on Twitter. You know, he doesn't follow too many people as a big Twitter person. He has a lot of followers, only follows a couple hundred people. And here is who we found that Mo TV himself follows just this random person and you know it's no secret that a lot of these kind of accounts these accounts that put you know these models or these good looking girls in their profile pictures you know there's a lot of them that enter my giveaways personally a lot of them follow our accounts randomly but it's not very often and probably never at all that you know big people actually follow these accounts back and I myself hundreds of these accounts actually favorite my giveaway things I figure they're just fake accounts you know with girls in their profile pictures but never have I ever had the desire or the chance to follow them back because you know you get so many followers every now and again especially remote TV 
of all the people that would, you know, follow you, why would you follow this one specific account back? So we looked into this, you know, who was this person? Why was Mo following her? And why was she following Mo back? You know, one of her four followers was Mo TV. So kind of suspicious. And for those of you who don't believe me that these are actually screenshots of Mo's account, here's live footage of me actually recording myself on my computer, going to his Twitter account, clicking on it. And yes, it turns out the day after I tweeted at Mo that I had evidence against him, Cute little innocent Jake. Look, look at that. <laughs> the CSGO news and big red text. What you're about to watch is evidence that people still tear apart for no reason at all. The fact that I searched this on Twitter itself and still recorded it. Now what I did was wrong. I'll admit that. Just watching this kind of like makes me hurt inside. The fact that I killed my channel doing this. But going forward, I want you guys to know the evidence I had I fully believed in it and this is what I found. This is not fake. I will stick to that word to this day. I did not lie about anything that I found. What I did was wrong, but I did not lie once in that video for what I found. So that's what you're watching. He actually unfollowed this girl. So if you go to his account right now, he's no longer following her. He unfollowed her 24 hours ago, right after I actually tweeted at him that I have evidence against him. Again, very suspicious. But then I went and recorded before that. And as you guys can see on screen right now, I actually went onto his account and he was still following her. And this is live feed, so it can't it can't Photoshop this in. He was actually following this girl. Now, we did some further investigating. I would advise you guys, you must be 18 years or older. If this gives you any more you know, tips as to what he was doing, you must be 18 years or older if you guys want to uh, do the following that I'm going to tell you guys about. Uh, if you click on our profile, her Here's link where in the video description gets bad. leads you to an Here's app where the video well goes below. downhill and it's basically super where you fast. you meet up with local girls for whatever variety of reasons you want to. I didn't look further into it, but it was a very inappropriate site. And again, I do not advise you guys to use the site. You must have, be of legal age to use that site. So it led you to a Well Hello app where you can basically meet local girls. So it really makes you think, why was Mo possibly using this site? Or why was he using this girl? Or why was he you know, on this app in the first place? I know a lot of you guys are thinking, Jake, there's no proof that he actually was on this app. Well, there actually is proof on this app that Mo used it, and it's pretty crazy. So after 20 minutes of searching, me and my friend Wolfie of this Well Hello app, you can search through these girls' history and all on the app itself, and of this photo bucket on the history of the website, you had this picture posted by Mo with the text saying hi. And as you guys can probably tell in the picture, it looks like Mo is in some kind of, you know, private dance room or some kind of club. You can very noticeably see the stripper pole in the background. And this was posted in this year of January. So, you know, not too long ago, six or seven months ago now, this year of January. As you guys know, Mo, a few months ago, was actually engaged to his future wife, Dahlia, which makes this seem very suspicious as to oh why you would God. be posting this app. I'm a freaking homewrecker. Oh obviously, my with God. a stripper pole, I mean, unless Dahlia is using this app, it seems kind of... Freaking A, Jake. Like, keep in mind, guys, I had never before this had any success on YouTube. I started out playing RuneScape. I worked my way up over three and a half years to two or three thousand subscribers. And at this point, I had broken, I think, around 30 to, four, I think it was actually close to 50,000 subs. I was feeling great. I was on fire. I was just coming off the FaZe scandal where I think it was FaZe and CSGO Wild. I exposed them for having connections to their owners, and it was a lot of success. Turns out that picture was posted on that website, the Well Hello app, which is for meeting girls, hooking up with girls, but it wasn't necessarily posted by Mo because it was also on his Twitter. So it could have been some bot account who posted on the, on the Well Hello app. Uh, a lot of programs out there kind of do that. They draw photos from the internet. And so that's where my first big mistake was. And ever since then, like, especially right after this as well, uh, you guys know that Mo and Dahlia are still married. They actually, they broke up. They separated for a little bit of time shortly after this video. So even more hurtful in my direction and hate coming to my way because people thought I was a homewrecker. They split off for quite some time after that. They got back together and now they have a kid. I believe they got they have a daughter on the way or actually a daughter already born at the, at the point of you guys watching this video. So, um... I'm an idiot, but let's finish this. This is just cringy. It's weird why he'd be looking for local girls to meet up for whatever reasons he was, but it's very easy to say that he was using this app and he was looking for some kind of who knows what he was looking for. If you guys need any more proof, I'm willing to post it on my Twitter or on another video, a future video. If you guys don't believe what I just showed you, I can't prove it any more than that. You know, I gave you guys all the proof that I have. Again, thank you to Wolfie, my co-reporter, for investigating this for me and helping me out with this. I really do appreciate it. Now, Mo, directly to you. Thank you for trash talking me. You know, you really kind of put an anger inside of me, which made me want to investigate you more. So it's kind of funny how first off, you're scamming the community for thousands of dollars, you know, scamming your fans. And then you go after me personally and my channel for what I'm doing. And uh, now I guess I'm returning the fire. So Mo, you know what? I have nothing else to say to you. You can go after my looks all you want. Yeah, sure, I have a huge forehead. Maybe my teeth are crooked. Maybe I'm scrawny. I don't care what you say about me. That stuff does not get to me. That kind of hate doesn't bother me whatsoever, Mo. 
It's your personality, your mentality, the way you treat your fans. It's really disturbing. So I'm glad I could release this evidence. Again, I'm not accusing Mo. That was a... Okay, um, you know what? I'll, I will stick by that. You know, when I thought I was going to watch this video, I know it's a, a bad thing that I did. But th that was a pretty good rant, okay? Let's go back real... I'm not trying to flip this. I'm still the bad man here. But the CSGO Diamond scandal where Mo knew the roles and everything and so forth, trying to, I guess, scam the community because it kind of misled them to thinking they could make money on their website. And he made hundreds of thousands off that scandal because they had to settle with him not going public. He went public. He still took the money. So he made tens and tens of thousands of dollars off that. And he scammed the community. He lied to them. But people forgave him real fast. People have yet to forgive me. But that was a good rant because Mo can be a real mean person to a lot of people out there. But that's his personality. You know, that's what people get off on him. People like him because he's kind of funny when he goes after people like myself. So I understand that. But that was, I'll stick by what I just said there, okay? I will stick by that. If anything, it's for you guys to put your mind to it and think why Mo would have posted this stuff. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'm going to touch on one more story today. And that was the hate on CSGO Reddit for this channel. Again, it didn't get to me. It was very informative. But I do want to touch on it really quick. So there was this CSGO Reddit post about my channel the other day and saying... So that was me reacting to one year ago today. Um... The, the day I actually ruined my channel. I want to thank all of you guys who continually have supported me. I was averaging around 50 to 60,000 views at the point of me releasing that per video. Ever since then, I've dropped off, now averaging anywhere from 10 to 20,000, but that's still an immense following. And what I've done today through YouTube, uh, you know, the things I've actually gained experience wise, well, I will never forget. And you guys who have stuck around, thank you so much. Now, I don't really like reacting videos. If you guys like this one, feel free to leave a like down below or at least a comment so I can interact with all of you and what you guys thought about that. A year ago today, I made one of the biggest mistakes of my life. And I, I, I honestly, I, I do mean that. Now, me and Mo are certainly not friends. He's blocked me on Twitter. He's continued to actually talk trash about me on, on a few occasions in the past. Not, nothing, nothing recent. But uh, I, I certainly am sorry for what I did on that day. I did not take back any other videos I made about him, anything else I said about him. But the fact that I targeted him and, and his wife and, and his personal beings, although I didn't lie about anything, it definitely was not something I should have done. Um, so that's certainly a, a big life changer I actually did that day. And I, I certainly do regret that video. But thank you for everyone else who has actually stuck around. And again, thank you for everyone who's continued to support me. I seriously do appreciate that. And the growth of the channel over the past month has been pretty cool. So thank you all so much for watching. As always, live, love, laugh a lot. I will see you guys all tomorrow with more CSGO news and no more reactions action videos. So hope you guys all enjoyed. I will see you all tomorrow. Remember, I like you. Goodbye.